Wow, have you seen the gorgeous bath and spa products available at Dollar Tree this year? So many bath, hair, nail, and skincare options to choose from in coordinating scents and colors. There is a wide variety of packaging options, including beautiful florals and global chic, sleek apothecary, and spa-like aromatherapy. And they even have a men's skincare line. And as always, plenty of poofs, brushes, masks, candles, and beauty tools to accessorize your gifts. For containers, I'll be using both Christmas-themed and everyday items available year-round, making these gift set ideas perfect for all occasion and or holiday gift giving. And this video is just part one of our multi-part, inexpensive but impressive gift series. So make sure you're subscribed and click the bell so you're notified as soon as new videos are published. I'd like to start with this awesome Crystal Waters line in this beautiful Boho Global Chic packaging. It comes in two scents, Sage Cedar in the Burnt Orange and Rose in the Ruddy Red. They have the Shower Gel, Bath Salts, and Body Butter, and I found these two poofs in complementary colors. For the container, I chose this wood tray available in the craft section. And I want to point out that this tray comes in two sizes, and bigger is not always better. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I have 10 pro secrets for making beautiful gift baskets. And although container choice is number four, it's actually more like a four-way tie with one, two, and three. If the container size is too small, your components won't fit, obviously, or they'll be so crammed that they won't be aesthetically pleasing. Choose a container that's too large and your components will be swimming. And there are several other problems with this container, which we'll get to in a minute. But for now, let's take a look at two examples of how, just like Goldilocks, our components found the right fit. In this first example, I used the smaller tray, which fit the components perfectly and came in at a cost of about $6.25. Even after adding cellophane and a bow, your cost will still be under $7 depending on what you use. Also, please note that minimal shred was needed for the bottom of the tray. The next example uses the slightly larger tray and offers a more robust gift option with the addition of two more components to fill the space. This now brings the base cost to $8.75, which will still bring you in under $10 with wrap and bow. But you can see how just the slightest increase in container size also increased the base cost by $2.50. And if you need to make a large number of gifts or are just looking to keep costs down, you can see how secret number four, container choice, is important. Now, if you're wondering what Pro Secret 1, 2, and 3 are, well, you've already seen them. Number one is always color coordination. Number two is a unified theme, and in this case, that would be bath items. And number three is a high quality look, which I think this packaging easily achieves. Now, you also may be wondering, hey, Rosemary, what's your beef with that adorable container? I saw it in the store and I've already bought five of them. Well, it is cute and would work in several scenarios, but let me explain why it's not such a great choice to keep costs down or in this scenario. First of all, it's very deep, which if you're intending on using only shred to fill, you'll need about four or five bags, greatly increasing your cost and on something that is really a waste as it's likely to just get thrown away. And yes, you can cut down to about two or three bags by filling the bottom half with tissue paper, which again is a cost, or free items like plastic shopping bags, which is fine if it's for your kids or spouse, but what if it's a sweetheart you're trying to impress or a valued customer or your mother-in-law? In that case, then crumpled up Dollar Tree bags might not be the best option. But regardless of how it's filled, the container itself clashes with the components. And even if we fill it with all of the components used for the larger tray, we still have oodles of space left over. And if you keep looking, you may be able to find additional components that are color and theme compatible, but of course this will add to the expense. But then, oh no, more space to fill. And then at that point, you just start grabbing random stuff that doesn't even make any sense. And again, adding to the expense. So we don't want that to happen where you end up with a mismatch hodgepodge gift that ends up costing you more than if you purchased it already professionally and beautifully made at a retail store. So now let's get back to some gift set ideas to help keep you off that path. And again, we have beautiful packaging with many coordinating accessory items to choose from. So no need to worry if you can't find the lavender loofah or the blue puff, since there's a plethora to choose from and you can substitute in other items. For example, here we see the slumber set paired with a lavender loofah mitt and the lavender poof, also some bath bombs there to the side. But let's say you can't find the purple poof. In this example, a gold 
topped candle made a great substitution. And then yet another variation would be a purple scrubber in the middle with two votive candles to each side. And then here's a quick peek at that beautiful relax combo and notice that the loofah mitt is just in a natural color and it works beautifully with this set along with the gold top candle and the bath fizzies. And then as we saw at the beginning of this video, Dollar Tree does have a great selection of Christmas themed containers and seasonal scents like this adorable Merry Christmas box and cranberry scented body wash, lotion and candle. And then two vanilla scented bath fizzies complete the set. Now, if you're watching this video off season, don't fret. You can get great containers year round and in other areas like this white wire organizer from the kitchen section. It fits two bath items and the large poof perfectly. Dollar Tree also had the spa shower gel and lotion in smaller sizes. This made them the perfect size to pair with this large glass jar from the glassware section. First, I added a small poof in pink and then the pink body lotion and shower gel. I then put the lid back on the jar and glued a flower to the top, then added a ribbon to the jar as well. Such a pretty gift for holiday giving or year round. And who would believe it costs less than $4. For the small spa set in blue, I'll be using this adorable snowflake dish. They also had this five piece face mask kick that I loved. What I didn't love is the retail packaging at the top, which makes this a good time to go back to that pro secrets list and number five, which happens to be remove retail packaging when possible. And you can see here that the notch to open the pouch sits below the retail hook hole, making this a good candidate for trimming the top of the package, instantly giving it a more upscale look as professionally made baskets typically use components that do not come in retail packaging. Next, we have a good example of tip number six, which is to place the taller items to the back of the arrangement. And so the mask set will go to the back. Now I will use this poof because of the shape of the dish as a support for the mask package. Next come the next tallest items, which are the bottles of lotion and gel. And then lastly, the shortest item, which is this little scrubber. Now here's a great idea for the spa set in yellow. For this one, I'm going to use a margarita glass from the glassware section and then a tube of this body scrub. Now I'd like to add the yellow gel and lotion to the front of this. However, they're not gonna stay in place if I just stick them there. Which brings me to tip number seven, glue dots and double-sided tape. That is what I typically use to keep components in place. However, sometimes you do need a little extra help and I'm gonna show you a bonus tip here on how I get the little extra support when needed. What I do is make a band of sorts from a piece of cellophane paper. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is just take a piece from uh, one of these party bags and all I'm going to do is cut a strip and then wrap that around the items I want to hold together and then cut it down to size and tape it in place. And now my two items will stay together and because the cellophane is clear, you can barely see it. Next, I'm going to wrap this set using one of the treat bags. I'm just going to cut a hole here at the bottom of the bag large enough to slide the base and stem of the glass through. Then I'll pull it up along the bottom of the glass and tape it into place. And surprise, surprise, this brings us to pro tips eight and nine, which both involve wrapping your gift set or gift basket. And basically they're about choosing the right wrap and the correct size. I won't go into detail of, on wrapping in this video, but I will leave a link both here and in the description for the standalone pro tips video if you'd like to check it out for more information on wrapping as well as the other tips discussed in this video. But if you're good with the Cliff Notes version, here's number 10, decorate your package in appropriately sized and color coordinating ribbons and decorations. That's it for the Dollar Tree mini combos. However, lucky for me, right next to my Dollar Tree, there's a Big Lots. And there I found a wide selection of these adorable mini combos. Some even with little poofs included for just $1.50. Now these gifts are adorable in their own right. However, we can really upgrade them just by adding one or two Dollar Tree items to make a larger and more robust gift. For example, just adding one of the Dollar Tree adorable stuffed animals to this combo with the poof creates a more substantial gift that you are likely to pay eight to $10 for in other resale stores. To attach the two, I again used the cellophane band trick and then used strips of packing tape to attach the paws to the cellophane band. To enhance the next mini combo, I'll also be adding a cylinder vase and a pack of these bath fizzes from Dollar Tree. 
I started by adding the poof from the set to the bottom and then the bottles from the set along with the bath fizzies on top of that. I always keep a bag of lids from recycled items and this cork lid from an old jar candle makes the perfect topper. I'll tape the lid to the vase and then wrap with a burlap ribbon. These mini ornaments from Walmart that I'm obsessed with by the way create a perfect accent. For the next Big Lots combo, I'm going to be switching to the Body Lotion and Body Mist set in this sleek apothecary packaging. And these are again well priced at just $1.50. To enhance, I'll be adding this adorable candy jar and large poof from the Dollar Tree. I'll place the poof into the candy jar, then I'll remove the Body Mist and Lotion from the plastic box, but we'll keep them in the plastic packaging holding them together at the bottom. I'll put the top of the set in first and then push up and back to get the bottom part into the container. And then you can see how well it fits all together. And then a simple black and white ribbon completes the look. Here's another set in this pretty lavender packaging that pairs beautifully with this adorable boot ornament that I picked up from Walmart for about $2. The bottles fit perfectly into the boots creating a delightful little gift. Dollar Tree also has adorable boot ornaments this year that will also make a great gift with coordinating products. If you like that apothecary look, Dollar Tree also has a nice collection, including these hair care products with shampoo, conditioner, and texturizing spray. I'm going to switch up the packaging a little bit here to give you an extremely affordable idea using a three and a half inch by three and a half inch square of cardboard from a shipping box. I'll be covering the cardboard with paper shreds, but since I want them to stay in place, I'm going to quickly hot glue them to the surface of the cardboard. Next, I will take the paper shred square and place it into one of the plastic treat bags, creating a nice base and container for the products. Then I added the tubes of shampoo and conditioner towards the back, and then the spray bottle in the middle of those, holding the components together with some double-sided tape. These components are a little too tall to close the bag with a twist tie, so I use tape to close the top along the back. A burlap bow and another mini ornament in a coordinating color add the finishing touch. And in addition to the texturizing hair perfume from the previous set, Dollar Tree also had a hydrating and glow variety, which I think pair perfectly with this iridescent party bucket that I picked up from Walmart for just a dollar. Another option for our cardboard square packaging would be this beautiful chamomile and cucumber face wash, toner, and eye cream set in beautiful coordinating packaging. And then for this one, I again used the cellophane band trick to hold the components together and then placed them in the bag and then tied the bag with a twist tie. And then another mini ornament from Walmart makes a simple but elegant decoration. And then here is another skincare set, this time with cleanser, face masks, and facial loofahs. And I'll be using the Snowman coffee cup as the container. First, I'll remove that retail packaging from the paper mask. And since it's the tallest item, it will go to the back of the cup, followed by the bottle and tube, and then the mini loofahs tied with a pink ribbon in the front. And now let's not forget about the boys, starting with that facial care line I told you about earlier, which includes cleanser, exfoliator, and moisturizer, and they all fit perfectly into this Dollar Tree tin with the plastic front. And all I had to do was add some shred to the tin, place the products on top, and close the lid. A beautiful gift coming in at about $5. Another option for this set would be to use one of these red Santa containers. And for this one, I'm going to also add this really nice manicure set from Brookstone that Dollar Tree had. I put that to the back of the bucket and then put the three pieces of the skincare line in front. I then added this woodsy ornament from Dollar Tree in front of the manicure set to keep it all color coordinated. And then here's another set using a black wire basket and the Barbersol line that Dollar Tree carries year round. They have the three in one wash, shave cream, deodorant, and razors. And then here's another idea from a line that Dollar Tree usually carries around the holidays. It comes in this beautiful plaid packaging and makes a handsome set. For the Beard It Boys, this Power Stick Beard Wash 
balm, oil, brush, comb, and razor set in a Christmas tin is a thoughtful gift. And now let's balance all that masculine energy with some decidedly feminine sets, like this body wash, scrub, and lotion in this gorgeous pink floral packaging. Accessories include this polishing cloth and coordinating poofs that come two to a pack. This beautiful floral box with the scalloped edges makes the perfect container. And this is how they all come together. And now here is a similar set in blue. Again, using one of those beautiful floral boxes and several bath and beauty items we have already seen, including this chamomile and cucumber facial set, the loofah mitt, the loofah soap, and the spa bath and lotion in blue. And here again is how it all came together. And now here is a sophisticated and elegant looking set using one of the Dollar Tree long gold trays with the gold beading. For this set, I'm going to use one of these exfoliating washcloths, some bath bombs, some shower fizzes, one of the loofah soaps, and one of these oatmeal and coconut bars. And then this is how it all came together. Now how about we finish this video with some mani-pedi ideas, like this little kind of campy boot holding nail files and nail polish, all of which were purchased from Dollar Tree, and again, I'm going to either hide or snip off that retail packaging and then slide them into the little boot. Here is another option using those same components plus some hand cream. And this time I'm going to use one of the thin Dollar Tree boxes. And I love to use these for all kinds of gift sets because they fit so many things so nicely. And then you just tape everything in place, close it up, and you're all set. Next, I have a couple of nail sets that use the Dollar Tree Square Votive. For this first one, I'll be using some Jergens cream, a bottle of nail polish, a foot brush with pumice, and then one of these salt foot scrubbers. And then you can see how well they all come together to create a great little gift for about $5. And if you are in the market for small gifts around the $5 price point, be sure to check out our No Wax Candle Hacks video with oodles of quick and easy ideas without the mess and danger of melting wax, linked here and in the description. For the next option, I'll again be using one of the glass votives, this time filled with pink shred and then one of these pedicure sets in pink that I took out of the packaging, as well as one of these pod foot files, also out of the packaging, and then this set of three pink files. And then again, another cute little gift under $5. And then here is a look at another longtime fan favorite, again using that pink pedicure set, this time pairing it with some white terry slippers, which double as a container, a couple bottles of nail polish, and a foot mask. And I will link the original video that has the full tutorial here and in the description. And then finally, a foot fixer gift, starting with a large size dish tub as the container, pedicure flip flops, a pair of polka dot slippers, a set of hand towels, bath crumbles and a bath bomb, bath soak, a pumice, some warm fluffy socks, and a bottle of baby oil gel. Once it all came together, I decided that I wanted to add some of this hand cream as well as a packet of this tension soak. Well, I hope you have enjoyed part one of our inexpensive but impressive 2022 gift series. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are posted. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.